Hi children! Class 4 students can be a task. Label the parts. Now, the object is a comment. So, Usually, if you give any one image, students can identify the parts of images easily. You know very well the reason of conducting this competition is to find outstanding students of the class. If they participate in this task, they have to find 5 images and more than 25 parts of images. So students have to work hard to win this game. So students, those who trained well only can perform in this task. So encourage your students to participate in this task to gain knowledge about more scientific words. Now the task is objective is so we training. Hi children, we welcome you to the activity of identifying the parts of the human system. That is, you have to label the parts of the human organs. You will find 5 pictures of the human anatomy and the space to label them with the scientific and biological terms of it. So, for that, you will be given a bowl which contains the names of the different organs of our body both internally and externally and it will be in a shuffled manner. So, as soon as the whistle blows, you should be as fast as you could to identify the names of it correctly and label the parts. Come on children, this is going to be an exciting task because you will get a feel of standing in a science laboratory to do an experiment and your time starts now. Training video so you can practice. The skeletal system is made up of bones, joints and cartilage. We have more than 200 bones, like our skull, spinal cord, humerus, ribs, and femur bones. Other bones that we have are jawbone, vertebrae, clavicle, shoulder blade, ulna, radius, sternum, pelvis, kneecap, tibia, fibula, we have more than 600 muscles throughout the whole body, like biceps, pectorals, abs, masseter, deltoids, quadriceps, We also have these other muscles, trapezius, triceps,
glutes. And calves. Body system are nasal cavity. Pharynx, Larynx, Trachea, Bronchi, and Lungs. Mouth when we chew the food. This is mixed with saliva, forming the food bolus. The food bolus passes through the pharynx and esophagus to the stomach, where digestion will continue thanks to the gastric juices that are capable of undoing it. Next, it goes to the small intestine and then to the large intestine. The water and nutrients that our body needs are absorbed in the intestines. The capillaries of the circulatory system that surround the intestines collect nutrients and distribute them throughout the body. Finally, the solid remains that have been left over from the digestion are eliminated through the anus. The excretory system. Clean the blood, producing urine, with all the substances that your body does not need. When the filtration in the kidneys is finished, the urine goes on to the urinary tract. Subsequently, from the ureter to the bladder, it accumulates here until you feel like going pee. Then it exits through the urethra and is expelled outside the body. Learn how to label the parts of the kidney in this interactive on capsule cortex. The right half and the left half and both these halves are connected to each other by a bundle of nerve fibers called the corpus callosa. Our brain has wrinkles on its exterior surface and this wrinkly part is called as the cerebrum which makes up the major portion of our brain. We notice that the cerebrum is actually divided into four parts or four lobes we can say. The first one is called the frontal lobe. Now just by the name, can you guess which one of these can be called the frontal lobe? Yes, it is this one, the one present in the front. Let's move to the next lobe. This highlighted lobe here is called the parietal lobe. The next lobe is called the temporal lobe. Fourth and the last lobe is the occipital lobe of the brain. The small bulge at the back of your brain that you see is called as the cerebellum. Just like the cerebrum, this cerebellum is also divided into two halves. It's called as the small brain and pulmonary valve are on the right. The mitral and aortic valves are on the left. The superior and inferior vena. The pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. The aorta is the main artery that carries oxygenated blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. So, this is the practice. This is the task. Title winner. All the best.